And I yeah. definitely didn't get the itch during training camp because I was very <laughs> happy to not be there. Um, but I imagine once the game start, I mean, Thursday night when I'm watching the game, I'm sure I'll have a little bit of that competitive fire in me that says, like, I want to be out there. You and JJ have partnered with Frito Lay Variety Packs and Cheetos Mac and Cheese for our project during the back to school season as every the kids are going back to school right now or have been for the last month. So what can you tell us about this partnership? Yeah, you know, food insecurity is a huge issue in this country, and we're so proud to to partner with Frito Lay. They're making a huge donation um, to help feed kids, and we it's such a, a important issue. And we're also obviously so passionate about youth sports. So to be able to come to Houston and go to this event in a city that we love so much, it really means a lot to us. Absolutely. And JJ, I want to ask you about that event. It's a community event and a flag football clinic uh, in Houston. So what can you tell us about it? Yeah, we're looking forward to it. We're going to play play some flag football with the kids. Uh, we're going to have a little friendly competition, um, hopefully between Kaylee and myself, and it doesn't get too competitive, but you never know with us. Um, and it's just a chance to get out in the community. We love Houston. We love the kids. And we're really looking forward to playing some flag football this afternoon. Oh, so it is this afternoon, September 6th, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, that's going to be so awesome. I know everyone's going to be looking forward to that. And yeah. along with what you have going on with uh, Frito-Lay and uh, Cheetos Mac and Cheese, uh, you two have partnered up, um, or actually are minority investors, I should say, with uh, Burnley FC. So, okay, Leah, I want to ask you, uh, what's it like being an investor of a club that actually uh, has been promoted to the, to the Premier League? Yeah, it's been so much fun. It, it's been kind of a perfect transition for us after our careers. And we've gotten to go out there multiple times and to just be in that environment and, and be at those games and feel the competitiveness. It's been amazing. And now to watch them play against the, the best teams in the world, it, it's been awesome. Absolutely. And JJ, for you, you recently retired for the NFL, but you are part of the CBS family, uh, going to be covering the NFL for the network. Week one of the NFL season starts on Thursday, but everything really starts to get going on Sunday. So how excited are you to be part of the CBS family and be working with the uh, NFL today? Yeah, I'm very excited about it. I mean, I love the game. Uh, I love the NFL. Uh, so I couldn't stay away. Have to be around the game and really looking forward to Sunday, my first day with CBS and uh, just being able to watch and cover the NFL and kind of give fans some insight. Obviously, I have 12 years of experience in the league and to be able to hopefully give fans a look inside what it's like from a player's perspective and some of the things that I've learned over the years and share that knowledge with people. Now, JJ, I want to go back to you. During the summer, as players are getting ready for uh, training camp and preseason, did you feel the itch at all to make a comeback? Or when you made your announcement, you knew you were completely done? Yeah, I knew I was done. Um, and I yeah. definitely didn't get the itch during training camp because I was very <laughs> happy, happy there. Um, but I imagine once the game start, I mean, Thursday night when I'm watching the game, I'm sure I'll have a little bit of that competitive fire in me that says, like, I want to be out there. But um I'm very, very happy and very at peace with my decision. I'm loving spending time with Kay and Koa and uh, all my family. And I'm going to watch TJ and live vicariously through him and see plays <laughs> this year. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I know everyone's looking forward to see what TJ Watt uh, does in 2023. But Kaylee, I want to ask you this. Uh, you played in the National Women's Soccer League since 2014. Uh, do you see yourself making a comeback at all? <laughs> I don't think so. I, mm. I trained. I wanted to get my body back after after the baby. And, um, you know, like JJ said, we've loved having this time together. Yeah. When we were both playing, we each had about a month each year where we were mm. both off, off and we would try to do everything in that one month. And so it's been so nice to have time and start these new projects and, and spend time with Koa. Of course. And you also played for the United States women na national team in 2016. You know, the team recently uh, fell short in the World Cup and lost in the round of 16. Were you surprised, Kelia, that they came up short in the World Cup? I was really surprised because I never, ever bet against the U.S. women's national team. They are so incredible. Um, those girls are some of the best players in the world. So um, we were we were sad to see them lose early, but I think it's just a testament to how much the women's game has grown and how 
how mm-hmm. good these countries are getting. And, and though we wanted to see them go further and, and win, um, it is a positive to see that there's such incredible competition and incredible female athletes. And we're excited. We, um, soccer is huge in America right now. So we're really excited to be a part of that. And JJ, I wanted to ask you this, uh, the Houston Texans come into the 2023 season with a lot of promise. You know, they have drafted CJ Stroud. They drafted Will Anderson right after that. So what are your expectations for the Texans this year? I think they're going to do pretty well. You know, I think that um, D'Amico definitely needs some time to implement his culture, to implement his style. Um, But I do think that they are going to do much better than they did last season. And I do think they're going to outperform some people's expectations for this year. Um, do I think they're necessarily a, a playoff team? I'm not 100% sure about that. I wouldn't be shocked if they were, um, but I do think they're going to win six-plus games this year. I think that the what what the ownership has signified by drafting those two guys so high, by bringing in D'Amico, they're saying we are now in go mode. And over the next three, four, five years, uh, the Houston Texans have big ambitions. Absolutely. Looking forward to the NFL season. But JJ Kalia, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Uh, Have fun today and continue success to both of you.